Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to be installing the RGB 7 inch Halo Demon um, LED color changing lights on my Mazda Miata. Now this is basically going to be a how to video for any NA uh, Miata. Now sorry if the sound quality isn't as great as it normally is, I'm recording at my apartment complex and not at my garage right now. So in case you hear a slight echo, that's because I'm recording out here. But yeah, uh, let's get started and again real quick I'll show you guys. These are the LED color changing headlights. Now, if you guys would like to see the unboxing video, I have that, it'll be in the link down in the description below, as well as one of these ID cards in the corner. Now, the first step is going to be popping up your headlights. I already had them up and I put them back down just so you guys could see. There we go. Also gonna be popping the hood as well. And as you can see, my Miata has the standard halogen headlights right there. And we're gonna be getting rid of these, obviously for the LED halos. Our next step is going to be removing the casing on these lights and they're just gonna be Phillips head bolts. Now we're going to be removing this casing right now. And for that, I'm just gonna slightly try to pull on the sides. And it should just come up just like so. Pull on the sides and they just pop right off. Now the next step is going to be removing the bracket that holds this light in place. But yeah, I'm gonna remove these small screws. Now you can actually just loosen and turn and take off the casing, but on mine, these bolts are actually in the wrong place, so it's kind of holding it there. Get this last one on the bottom right here. My gun can't get to it, so. There we go, be careful. You don't want to drop these things on your paint and mess things up. And here we have the original light. Now we're just going to disconnect it from the connector. There's gonna be a side right here and a piece right there. You're just gonna basically pull on that and it'll come off just like so. And we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. There we go. And then just like so, press here and on the exact opposite side, just gonna press down and wiggle and pull out. Now, if you have the LED lights that are just LED white, that is all. Um, you aren't going to need to see this part, but if you do have the color changing, you're gonna need this uh, light controller system for the Bluetooth or for a remote. Either way, uh, this is what it is right here. Now, this has to be connected up to a ground and a power source. They say don't connect this power source to your battery. I'm gonna be connecting this power source to my running light up here. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be with the control of your halos. Hey everyone, really quickly, I just wanna let you know, make sure before you install the Bluetooth controller inside the car, you scan the QR code so you can download the app for the halos. You don't wanna wait until last second and then realize you have to scan the code when it's already installed in the car. That's what I did, luckily I was able to get to it. But make sure before you install the Bluetooth controller, scan that QR code so you can download the app. Now looking in on the Miata, we have our running light right here. So I'm gonna pull that out real quick just so I can show you guys and then show you what wires we're gonna splice the connectors through. As you can see, that is the light right there. Oh. Now I'm actually just gonna remove this whole piece right here uh, just so it makes it easier so that I can splice this wiring to the Bluetooth controller. There we go. My goodness, okay. So, <laughs> here we have the wiring. Now basically what I'm gonna be doing is splicing the ground to this light right here and splicing the power and just putting connecting that to the Bluetooth controller. So right here, obviously we have the negative. I'm going to cut this about halfway. 
just like so. And then the power source. Right there. Now, a little more on this one. There we go. Now, since I'm not using a soldering gun, I have to at least be somewhat professional here. So I'm going to be using shrink tube on this when it's done. I'm just going to slide down there right now. Because trust me, I know this looks bad. This is not the way to do it. This piece of string tube was a little bit too small, but we're going to make it work here. It's going to slowly slide it across. There we go. Perfect. It's now time to do the exact same to the power side. And now I'm going to apply electrical tape around all these connections. And now that we have this Bluetooth controller all wired up to our running light, let's install the LED halos. Oh, by the way, just like so, installing the light where it's supposed to be, we are attached. And this controller is just gonna stay right down here at the bottom. I'm gonna be zip tying it to the bottom harness right here, just so it's gonna stay in place and not um, interact or get in the way of the lights themselves. I'm gonna make sure I connect the wiring right here. And screwing it down in place. Now this wiring is gonna to go to, from one headlight to the other. So before I install everything all together, I'm first gonna test the lights. I'm gonna plug them in and make sure that the halo does come on with the running lights. All right. I'm gonna connect up the halo. Let's see if the halo turns on with just the running light. All right, that's green. That's interesting. Um, but it is working. Can you guys see that? Yep, you guys can see that there's a green halo. All right, so no lights. Running lights turns on the halo. And then lights completely turns on, turns on the low beams. And then there's everything with the bright and everything is turned on. That's bright, my goodness. All right, so it looks like it works. Um, let's connect this, plug it all in together and then open up my phone and connect the Bluetooth and see if we can adjust the lights. I did just route the other um, halo lighting through, make sure to see. I took this wiring right here. There's a hole in the frame and I routed it through that frame, right through the front here, all the way across underneath where the bumper is, up to this corner, and then out here right for the headlight. Now I'm gonna be using zip ties along the bottom down here because there's actually wiring going across from over here all the way to here for the horn. So I'm basically just gonna zip tie it to that so it doesn't get loose in that compartment. And it is now time to attach the LED on the passenger side. The wiring just gonna fit back in there. And the light will fit just like so. There's one side. So our next step is gonna be reinstalling the light covers. All 
right. Sorry, my neighbors are being loud and I'm irritated, but whatever. Um, so we're going to attach this right here. Hold this wiring back. We're going to secure it with some zip ties in a moment. But for now, I just want to get this headlight in place. Just like so. All right. We're going to tighten these two down and then tighten the third one. So now that we have the bracket in, we can now attach the other case. But guys, we are not done yet. Once we have these brackets installed, I'm going to be downloading the app and showing you guys how to do that because I have seen a few reviews where people were confused on how to do it. So if you have purchased the same kit as me, you can stay around and I can show you how to uh, install the app and how to operate it. It's time to close the hood, everyone. I have finished zip tying and hiding the wiring. The lights are installed. Let's close this up. And there are the lights. Now I'm gonna turn them on for you right now so you can see them. We have the running lights which are currently preset to green LEDs, lights, and then the brights. So our next step is going to be installing the app so that we can adjust these lights from green to red to blue, you know, multicolor. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. I'm going to go down to the controller and scan that QR code. Now it's going to open up in the app store and it said that it was going to be in Chinese, which as you can tell it is 1.6 stars, not the best, a lot of one stars and very few fives. Uh, but let's just hope this works on our phone and we're going to open it up. Disconnected, connect. It says connecting to Bluetooth. All right. So it looks like it's connected and it's currently, Oh, uh, there we go. Wow. Um, so it works for me. I'm not sure about you guys, but all right, everyone. So as you can see, these LEDs are currently blue and the, can, the app actually works really well. I haven't, there's a darker, let's change it up real quick. There's more of a purple, there's light purple, red, there's yellow right there green and then we can actually turn the brightness down and up party okay party changes through all the lights that's cool let's see what rainforest does rainforest looks like it's just green sunset is orange Sorry, reading turns off. I don't know why they have an app for, for reading if it just turns off the lights. Seems like they have like a whole bunch of different things, but almost all of them just change to a different color. Color hop, looks like it changes back and forth. So that's cool. Um, you can change up the speed as well. So they do it very quickly or slowly. So overall, this is a, a pretty cool. I, I like the way this app works. Um, I'm not having any problems with it. So you can, you can just go through all the colors, you can flash them. All right, guys. Uh, now these lights seem to be operating pretty well. It's working completely fine with the app. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. Looks like they're operating pretty great. Uh, yeah, so that is a video on how to install the color changing LED lights on your NA Mazda Miata. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be giving an update review on this probably about three months down the line to let you know how the lights are doing, um, if they're causing any problems, if the app is still working, uh, stuff like that. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.